Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here from Team Euphoric, and if you want to be able to do a pistol squat, then you need to have strong and healthy hips, knees, and ankles, which is why today I'm going to be taking you through this split squat progression to help strengthen your hips, knees, and ankles so that you can do a pistol squat. Let's get started. This is the front foot elevated dumbbell split squat and in terms of the equipment, we are either going to need a plyo box or some type of platform like an aerobic stepper to elevate the foot and ideally it should be roughly mid shin height and we're also going to need a pair of dumbbells. In terms of the setup position, we want to be facing the actual plyo box attachment and then with the working leg, we want to take a nice wide step forward. Then with the back leg, the non-working leg, we want to make sure that the toes are pointing straight ahead and we're going to grab a hold of both of the dumbbells. Then. In terms of the actual execution of the exercise, what we want to do is drive the knee as far past the toes as possible while maintaining a neutral spine and getting nice extension in that back hip. And that is the actual execution of the exercise itself. Now, we're going to go over a couple of common mistakes. Mistake number one is going to be losing that extension of the hip, and we're going to do that by just going straight down to the ground. We want to make sure that we end up driving the heel. By driving the heel, you're going to get a lot more extension in that hip. Then, mistake number two is going to be allowing the foot to rotate out. As we go down, we don't want the leg to point out toward the side. We want to make sure that the toes are pointing straight ahead the entire time to get that extension in the hip. Mistake number three is going to be bending forward at the waist. If we end up bending forward at the waist, we're going to lose a lot of tension. So we want to make sure that the spine remains neutral the entire time. And then, one more thing that we can do is we can perform this as a contralateral exercise by getting rid of one of the dumbbells. If you, if you want to perform it as a contralateral exercise, whatever leg you are working, you're going to pick the opposite arm. That's going to hold on to the weight. And same thing. You want to make sure that the hip remains in extension, toes are pointing straight ahead, and you drive your knee past the toes as far, as far as possible. But that is the front foot elevated dumbbell split squat. Thanks for hanging around until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help out with the algorithm. And also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible. And also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. For those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month and you get a ton of perks, including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head.